What is up everyone? Welcome to the Solbazium channel, the number one channel on YouTube to stay informed on the latest breakthroughs in the health and wellness field. In today's video, I'm going to be going over something that I get asked a lot here at Solbazium, and it's what's the difference between red light therapy and an infrared sauna. So while on the surface, both of these technologies, they might look like they're the same, um, they're actually not. And there's different mechanisms involved with how they affect the human body and the biological side effects that you're going to get from them. And look, and in no way, shape, and form am I going to be knocking infrared saunas today. It's actually great technology, has tons of benefits, and it's actually perfect to use in combination with red light therapy. So saunas, including infrared light saunas as well. So this technology actually dates back thousands of years, and cultures from all over the world have been reaping the therapeutic benefits from saunas for quite some time. Saunas actually became very popular in the 1900s in the Western world and beyond. And right around this time, these saunas were heated with stones that were warmed with electric heaters. So temperatures in these saunas typically range from 150 degrees Fahrenheit to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. What's fascinating is that a few scientific studies recently have proven that saunas can actually activate the same protein that's responsible for enhancing the immune system and protecting and repairing cells. These proteins are commonly called heat shock proteins, and they're typically activated during strenuous exercise. But what's really cool is that by using a sauna, you can activate these same proteins. By using a sauna, you know, you're not only going to be able to activate these heat proteins, you're also going to be able to rid toxins from your body, but at the same time, you're going to be able to recover from strenuous exercise at a much faster rate. All right, so we talked enough about traditional saunas. Let's dive into infrared saunas. Now, you're going to get the same effects. It's just a different mechanism involved. Infrared saunas are capable of generating wavelengths of light of 3,000 nanometers to 0.1 millimeters to heat the tissue. So what this means for you is that if you're sitting in an infrared sauna, the air doesn't have to be as hot as a traditional sauna would be. Now, the great thing about infrared saunas is that this air temperature typically only ranges from 120 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So what I have found just by what most manufacturers are telling people is that 20% of the energy actually goes into heating the air and 80% of this energy goes to heating the body. Most infrared saunas on the market today will produce light in a range of 3000 nanometers to 0.1 millimeters. And this is really the only way that you're gonna get the same effects as using a traditional sauna to heat the body. So there are other models on the market that operate in the near infrared range. And this is the range of 700 nanometers to 1400 nanometers. And these rely on a different mechanism than the previous version I was telling you about. So these models have an incandescent bulb that get really freaking hot, all right? And this heat generated from the bulb is what actually heats your tissue up, not the wavelengths of light. And here's the thing with these models. So you can't necessarily be close to the light itself, so you have to move pretty far away and you're gonna experience less of the therapeutic wavelengths at that point. A lot of manufacturers that produce these types of saunas they typically say that their bulbs can produce a range of wavelengths from 630 nanometers all the way up to 850 nanometers. While these wavelengths are absolutely incredible for your body, the whole thing is that you're not going to be able to absorb that much of these therapeutic wavelengths simply because you cannot get that close to these incandescent bulbs just from the excess heat. So the biggest difference between Solbazium red light therapy products and infrared saunas is the mechanism of action. Remember that saunas are designed to deliver heat to your body, while Solbazium red light therapy products are designed to deliver therapeutic wavelengths of energy to your cells. So what exactly does red light therapy do for you then? Well, red light therapy can enhance cellular function, it can increase blood flow and nutrient delivery to the tissues and much more. So another thing that really separates red light therapy from infrared saunas and saunas in general is that red light therapy products are designed to deliver photons to human tissue, which can enhance cellular function, it can enhance the delivery of nutrients to tissue, it can also help with blood flow and much more. But guys, again, like while these wavelengths are super important and you're going to be getting like very small amounts from some of these infrared saunas, another important factor to keep in mind is the irradiance, which is the total energy that's put out from the device. So while I did mention that near-infrared saunas can create and deliver these therapeutic wavelengths of light, they cannot do it anywhere near the irradiance of a Solbazium red light therapy panel. So guys, just to recap everything, okay? So near-infrared saunas 
they pretty much rely on incandescent bulbs that get really hot to generate these therapeutic wavelengths of light. Meaning that the closer you get to these bulbs, um, the hotter you're going to get and it can actually burn you if you get too close. And then the further you move away from these lamps, guess what? The lower the amount of these therapeutic wavelengths that you're going to be able to absorb. Okay, again, so look, I'm not knocking near infrared saunas or saunas in general. I absolutely love them and I do use this technology. But here's the thing, they actually work very, very well together. So both of these therapeutic technologies, they just deliver different forms of energy to your body using different mechanisms. Thank you guys. Look, I think that should take care of everything. Now, look, if you do have any questions, remember, just comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. You can also find our phone number in the description, give us a call, and we'll be happy to help you. Look, guys, we're going to be putting out more and more videos. So if you could just subscribe to this channel, that would be great. Anyways, have a good one. See ya.